you don't want the banging issue, you want to fix that. Are you tired of hearing your tool changer go bang, clunk, every time you do a tool change, or whenever you go to put a tool in the spindle? I'm the CNC Repairman, and I want to show you an explanation of how the tool release piston works, why it goes bang or clunk, or why sometimes it doesn't even work at all, and what usually fails, and help you understand how to troubleshoot it. I'm the CNC Repairman, and your spindle belt, I'm going to show you how the Niagara Falls is full of power. Here's what the system entails. It has a tool release piston. And this is just a simple air piston. And the simple air piston depresses on the top of the drawbar when air comes in through here and here. Now if you have a super speed machine, you have a different style tool release piston and it gets driven by this assembly. So let me show you how it's plumbed. This is your main tool release piston solenoid. And coming out of here, goes right into the tool release piston right down into there. This guy right here is a quick exhaust valve. Inside of the quick exhaust valve is basically a check valve and an orifice. It allows air pressure to come through here and out or come through here and out. What happens via the solenoids in the back of the machine, you may have a machine with two solenoids or a machine with three depending on the age. The one on this side, same with here, is the precharged solenoid. That solenoid fires about 30 psi of air through the quick exhaust valve and pre-pressurizes the tool release piston. Then the main solenoid fires, closes off that 30 psi with the check valve and the orifice, and puts the pressure into it. So the tool release piston has two solenoids with a check valve quick exhaust. The pre-charge that flows through and out to the piston, then about half a second later, the main solenoid fires, closing off that pre-charge. Now the pre-charge solenoid has a vent, so when it's not on, it vents back and then you'll get all sorts of funky things. If this is not working, or this is not working, or these are not working, you'll start to get air pressure to go back out the back. You'll start to get air pressure to go through the vent of here, to blow out of here. So to have your tool changer working correctly, you need to have the pre-charge set to the right pressure, the quick exhaust working, and the main valve working. And what happens is you get water, you get grime from your air system into these valves and the little shuttle that goes back and forth for the solenoid gets full of crud and then they work and they don't or they stick and they get sticky and then they leak and a lot of people will blow WD-40 down their line and that'll help jar it up but that won't completely fix it. Now for the super speed machines it's almost the same thing except you have two of these large valves and one quick exhaust. So that quick exhaust like I said is here and the regulators are here to lower the pressure. And on this, you have the regulator, and the regulator comes after the little pre-charged solenoid valve. So it's almost the same setup, but a little bit different on a super speed machine. Now, if you want to check the pressure and make sure that your pre-charge valve is working, you can use a little pre-charge tool. And what you'll do is you'll stick it in between the pre-charge valve and the line that's coming to it. Then when you hit the pre-charge valve, and it's pretty hard to see when you hit a tool change because it just comes and goes, it comes and goes. But if you take a little screwdriver, an Allen wrench, and you press in the top of the valve on either of these, you should see that pressure and you can hold it and then release it. You should also hear the tool release piston just go down a tiny little bit and then pop back up. Now if we hit the big one, we'll hear the whole pressure because it'll bypass here and give it the full pressure. So everything here that you see on this cabinet, you can purchase at CNC replacement parts. Now let's go behind me on the machine and I'm gonna show you how to test all of this. I'm gonna push the tool release button and let's listen. You can hear the tool release piston did not go down and contact the top of the drawbar. It just went kaboom. So the same thing would happen if I took an Allen wrench and I pressed on the top of the tool release piston. It's giving the full pressure right away. I've got right here in my hand the line that comes from the pre-charged solenoid, which is around back next to the gear shift solenoids. If I just press the top of here, I'm only activating the main tool release piston solenoid. But if I press here, the pre-charge is going to fire first and I'll hear it come out right here. It comes out really quick and it's just a little bit of pressure. But that little bit of pressure is what pre-charges the piston. So now let's listen and see what it sounds like. It sounds much better. Take a listen again. So I'm going to run around back. I'll just reach right here and I'm just going to activate the pre-charge and we're going to look at it on the pressure gauge to see what it looks like. 
I've got my hand around back with a little Allen wrench and I'm pressing on the top of the center solenoid. That solenoid is for the pre-charge valve if you're on a machine with a shop pin. If you're on a vector drive machine, it'll only be the small valve. When I press it, you can see this moves just a little bit and I'm reading just under 20 PSI. That's that little bit of pre-charge pressure that just allows the tool changer not to bang. Let's try it one more time. If I can find it, there we go. So now if I was to activate this one, you would not hear the bang. So if we go back and press on the tool release button, maybe, got it. Okay, when I press on this button, what's gonna happen is the air pressure is gonna come through the one-way check valve, then this guy's gonna fire and it's gonna come through and give it the full pressure. For just a second, I'll be able to see it on the pressure gauge, but not for very long. So let's see here. Boom. And I had a nice, smooth sounding tool change. Now, if it kind of makes noise on the way up, kind of makes a farting noise or comes up really slowly, that usually indicates that you could have a bad quick exhaust valve or you could have a bad muffler or this whole thing could be bad. Usually, I just replace the whole thing. If I'm gonna go to the effort to take the head cover off, I'm gonna replace this and this. So this one sounds really good. You can see just a little bit of pre-charge pressure. That pressure should be between 15 and 30 PSI, depending on your drawbar force. And if you have through spindle coolant on your belt drive machine, that pressure needs to be between three and four PSI. So this pressure gauge tool here is really simple. It's a T with a 30 PSI pressure gauge. Very simple. You can purchase this at CNC replacement parts or build your own, as well as all the valves, everything for this, for this, all the valves in the back. You can find that online. So thanks for watching this video. I hope I helped you troubleshoot your tool release piston, your banging issue. You don't want the banging issue. You want to fix that. So please give CNC replacement parts a call and we'll help you get the right parts. Yeah.